Hey, Math 43, I had a question coming out of chapter two, number 103, and here we were told that three students were applying to the same graduate school, but they came from schools with different grading systems. Which student had the best GPA compared to other students at his or her school? So how you do this type of problem? You have these three students. We've got Twee, we've got Vishay, and we've got Kamala, and I love that this is Kamala, given what happened this year. Um, if we've got these three students that have three different grading systems and we, so that means they're on different scales, right? One's got this GP of 2.7, 87, 8.6. So those are definitely three different systems. And so whenever you want to compare data values that are on different data sets, what you need to do is get their Z-scores because that's what Z-scores will do. Or I should say that's one of the things Z-scores will do. They will take data from different set, different scales and put them on a common scale so that we can compare them. And in this context, if you're looking for the, the student that had the best GPA, we're gonna look for the highest Z-score because a higher Z-score means you're more above the mean than, than a, a different data value. So keep in mind, anytime we have a Z-score, that's gonna be value minus mean over standard deviation. And I'm going to do it for Twee, and then I'm going to show you the answers for the rest of them. I have them hidden right now because I'm kind of sneaky that way. But if we wanted to get Twee's Z-score, all right, let's just take a look at Twee. So if we look at Twee's GPA, it is 2.7. All right, the school average is 3.2. So just looking at that, Twee's GPA is below average which is fine, it's just something to take note of, right? It's about half a unit below average. And then that standard deviation is 0.8. Now when I put this all together and I crunch this on my calculator, I get negative 0.625. And that's just saying, again, that twee is below average. That's why the z-score was negative. And if we actually crunch this, let me, let me put this here. This is literally negative 0.5 over 0.8. So you can see that Twee was not quite a standard deviation below average, right? So it was it was half a unit below where the standard deviation was 0.8 units below. All right, now I'm going to erase or I'm going to show you the rest for Vishay and Kamala. Let me get rid of this right here. All right, so you can actually see all of the um, GPAs. So there's um, Twee, there's Vishay, and there's Kamala. And then if we look at it, because Kamala had the highest Z-score, all right, she was one and a half standard deviations above the mean, right? And, and actually, we, we'll give Vishay some credit too. Um, he or she was above the mean as well, or I'll just say they were above the mean, right? But in the context of this question, Kamala wins. All right, thanks so much, everyone. Bye.